Genius. You better take, think about what you're trying to do to me. How old is she? She's 10. But her voice is going on 30, honey. Think, think, think. Let my girl let yourself be free. How many albums have you had? Four. And no hits. I need you to focus and avoid frivolous distractions. Honey, find the songs that move you. Until you do that, you ain't going nowhere. He was a preacher, Southern Baptist preacher. He came, that's part of his definition. He was a family man. He had like a uh, number of children. Um, he was the first one who really started sort of almost like mega church behavior by like touring and putting 5,000 people in arenas to your preaching. And he's also, you know, um, very controlling. And um, at the same time, he can be abusive at different times. So she says it's love, love, you love him, but, because he loves so deeply, but he's like coming from a strict background, so he comes, some of that spills over into his family. I think Aretha was, um, he always started, he started her out really young when she was like 11 years old. She started to go on the road with him. Uh, he asked her, they went from town to town to town to town to town. And he was controlling and just making all the decisions of her life. He continued onward, onward until she got into her teens. And, um, then the decision was made pretty much by CL to bring her to a record company. So he started to look for who he thought would be good for her, where she should be. And then when he gets there, when he's gotten made this decision about Columbia, he then um, goes into, well, I don't want them to pigeonhole you. you. You can do all kinds of music. This is what I want to do. And this, this, this is what she has to do to become a star. And that's the way he saw it. I mean, he was. He was trying to control the trajectory of her, of her light or stardom. She's, she's a, a director who really she's, knows how to work with actors. I think she's probably from her training and her plays that she's directed as well. And uh, so she's able to step into a scene and help, help find the right course. You know, many times I'll be trying to figure out is this the right direction? And then we'll talk about it. And she'll like give me uh, clues and stuff to that direction. Um, and I've watched her work closely with the other actors. She seems, she's very uh, meticulous. She's always coming in to, to try to elevate their work. I didn't know so much about Aretha Franklin. I knew her, I've met her before. I, I just in passing, um, but I didn't know the different struggles that she was going through in order to give us this persona of this larger than life individual, someone who shines so high. She's working really hard and doing Great job. I mean, this is the, the scene we were just watching here, where she's just accepting awards. You can see, like, um, the the painting of Aretha being made, you know, through her on the stage. You know, it was pretty. I think she's a, she's amazing in that respect. He also is like, a, you know, to show sides of himself that are really powerful. He's a good actor, and, and uh, as we started to do the scenes more and more, we you know, we have a we had a strong connect inside the scenes that we're doing. I think he's a. Uh, Obviously, has exceptional talent. He's like goes from comedy to something so serious as this, and able to carry off a pivotal role in the film in a great way. I think that the movie is really exciting and it's fun, so I think people will like it and be entertained and emotionally moved. And I think that on a core level, uh, Aretha's going through a journey of abuse and addiction, and she's trying to find her way out of that. And ultimately, she finds her way out of that in the end, uh, from her childhood to her midlife until when she passed away. I think for people to be able to say, I can pass by these pains and move into a new place, a new light, to me, is the kind of theme of the movie.